Hi, I'm Donna Eden, and you know, people are always asking me, what are the energy exercises I love to do? And I'm going to tell you right now, what I really love is tracing meridians. Now, for those of you who don't know, meridians are the energy pathways in the body that all the acupuncture points are on. And you can trace them, every one of you can, because the energies on your hands are electromagnetic and you align your, your hands up with your body and the energy will follow like, a, like you have a magnet in your hand. So, uh, so here we go, okay? So um, I'm going to start, I just get up in the morning and here's what I'll do. I'll, I'll zip up the front of the body with central meridian. And let me say before I go on further, um, you might see a picture of, of meridians and they're, they might look like thin lines, but if you use your full hand, uh, it, it has much more of an impact. I mean, you are going to impact your health and your vitality by tracing meridians. It, it, it gives you your rhythm back, a harmony to your spirit and your soul. So I'm going to start all over again and we're going to do central meridian. Use your full hand and you can touch or not touch, but just trace up the front of your body to the bottom lip. Okay? Governing. You start at the tailbone and you go straight up the back and then think up to the place that you can reach and then go up over the head, over the nose to the top lip. Okay, now I'm gonna start at spleen meridian in the morning. I'm gonna start down here at the inside of my feet at the big toe and trace straight up the inside of the legs, flaring out at the hips, up the side of the rib cage and down to the bottom of the rib cage. Next comes heart. Just put your full hand underneath the armpit and just take your hand all the way down and off the baby finger. And then on the other side, heart meridian, you can even tweak that baby finger as you come off the end. And then the next meridian, they just, one follows after another and the truth is there's really only one long meridian, but they separate 14 times. And when they separate, you can trace them. So you turn the hand over then for small intestine. Start at the baby finger and go straight up the arms to the shoulder. Drop back on the scapula just a little bit. Go over to the cheekbones and back to the opening in the ear. I hope you're all tracing along with me. <laughs> okay, start at the baby finger. Go straight up the arm to the shoulder. Sit on the a scapula, go over to the cheekbones and back to the opening of the ear. That was small intestine. Now we're at bladder meridian. You just start in between the eyebrows on the area called the third eye or just in between the eyebrows. Go up over the crown of the head, back behind the head and down the neck. Now go straight down the uh, back along the spine to below the waist and then in and up toward the waist and in and around the gluteus max. <laughs> Leave the meridian and come up onto the shoulder. Now you're going to just you reach up underneath with your hands. Go straight down the body to the knees, in at the knees, down to the floor and off the baby toe. Bladder meridian is so much more than just dealing with your bladder. It's so good for your nervous system. Okay? Next, kidney meridian. Start underneath the ball of the foot. So rock to the side of the feet and then come up to the side of the feet. Circle behind the inside of the ankle bone and beeline it straight up to K27 and buzz yourself there or, or tap yourself, but really invigorate those um, energies right there underneath your scapula. Okay, circulation sex starts at the outside of the nipple, goes up over the shoulder, down the inside of the arm and off the middle finger. Think nip to tip. <laughs> And then turn the hand over for triple warmer. Starts at the ring finger. Go straight up the arm to beneath the ears. Follow the ears around and behind and end at the eyebrow. Ring finger, straight up the arm to beneath the ears. Follow the ears around and behind and end at the eyebrow. Okay, uh, gallbladder <laughs> starts at the, uh, at the outer eyebrow and you drop to the opening of the ear. You go straight up about two inches, 
circle forward on the temples and drop back behind the ears. Forward again, over to the forehead, back over the crown of the head and around the shoulders. Then reach underneath and go forward on the rib cage, back on the waist, forward on the hips, straight down the legs and off the second toe. I mean, excuse me, the fourth toe. <laughs> um, liver starts at the in between the first and second toes, but on the first toe and go straight up the inside of the legs, flaring out to the side of the rib cage, back underneath the rib cage in line with the nipples. <laughs> okay, lungs starts at the lungs, over the shoulder and off the thumb. Lungs over the shoulder and off the thumb. Okay, large intestine starts at the pointer finger and goes straight up the arms to beneath the nose and out to the flare of the nose. And on the other side, pointer finger straight up the arms to beneath the nose and out to the flare of the nose. Now stomach, start underneath the eyes and drop to the jawbone. Circle up the outside of the face to the forehead and come down through the eyes to the collarbone. Out slightly, over the breasts and at the waist, out at the hip, straight down the legs and off the second toe. And now you're back to spleen. So you're gonna do spleen one more time. Start at the inside of the feet at the big toe, go straight up the inside of the legs, flare out at the hips, up the side of the rib cage, and down to the bottom of the rib cage. Now you're going to do the first two meridians that we did in the beginning at the end. You're going to zip yourself up to, on central meridian. And if you, if you have an affirmation that you want to say or like to say, if you zip it in, it'll go deeper than if you just say it because it's going to go right into your chakras. And then governing, go straight up from the tailbone, sink it to the place that you can reach, go over the head, over the nose, Da da! <laughs> All right, um, I really do encourage you to trace your meridians. You'll begin to feel that there is a balance to you, a, a harmony in your spirit and physical and, and, and soul, and, and you'll like it. And if you go traveling a lot, it'll help you get out of jet lag. Okay? Thank you.